Hello, Heather. How's Robert? He's sad. But at least he's making his exit with grace. Those were some very nice things you said about him during your press conference. Well, what was it you said to me about uh, making things palatable? The obscene. Ah, yes, the obscene. Well, it is obscene, a mind like his, losing its sharpness. I didn't expect the oval, but this is interesting. <laughs> this is where Petrov and I smoke cigars during the summit. It's where he put his out on the wall. So, Seth tells me you want the nomination. No, I just said that to get in the door. Robert thought you'd say yes in a heartbeat if it meant me dropping out of the race. But the decision you have to make is whether you'll drop out or not. <laughs> and why would I do that? I know Claire lied about the abortion, and I have the journal to prove it. I'm giving you an opportunity to bow out gracefully, just like Robert. But you have to do it before the caucus. I'll give you three days. I have no idea what you're talking about. The one you asked Doug to destroy. I wouldn't be so certain that he did it. You're finally one of us. One of who? The men in their smoky back rooms. And even if there was a journal, you don't have it in you. Make whatever assumption you want. Well, Robert was right. I would offer you the nomination. You should take the advice of a smart man. Three days, Mr. President. Think about Claire. Show me out, please. She can go after me all she wants, but she goes after Claire. I'll slit her fucking throat in broad daylight.